Hey guys, what is up? It's been such a long time since my last video that I posted, which was almost like, oh, like three weeks ago, I believe. And I really do have to apologize for that. And what it's really come down to is my personal life and pretty much everything that could ever happen to a person, bad things, happened to me. So I do have to apologize for this long hiatus that I had. But um, back in flying colors and I will resume my videos as per usual. And this video is going to be more of like an update and there's some really exciting news that I want to share with you about my channel because I'm deciding to branch out and I've been getting thousands upon thousands of requests. I get private message after private message saying, when are you going to do Let's Plays? And I thought I'd just address it in a video. I can get out of the way and just update you guys that Let's Plays are coming in exactly two weeks time. So today is Monday, so you can expect that not next Monday, but the following Monday after that. I've had to look at a few capture cards and stuff like that. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really interested, I'm actually not too interested in the Let's Play universe. I don't find them exciting to watch. Um, I watched one a while ago, it was like Amnesia the Dark Descent, and it just bored me to death. And I was just like, <laughs> I'd never want to sit through that again, it was just so dull. But um, I think it'd be different if I am actually doing the Let's Play and showing you guys some tips, um, showing you how I play, and doing some commentary on top. Uh, commentary? Commentary. There you go. And yeah, I really want to share it with you guys. And I've got it all on my little laptop here because it, it's kind of dirty, but that's okay. Um, I've written down some notes about which games I'm interested in doing Let's Plays for. and. Um, these are just right off the bat. If you guys have any suggestions on Let's Plays, you have any recommendations that, you know, I must play, um, please let me know. But this is just what I thought of. Um, no big surprise here. I'm definitely doing Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, and 4. 5 and 6 if people want it, but I really don't care much for 5 and 6. When it comes to a numbered series, I think 1 through to 4 is really where the great stuff is. After 4, mm, not so much. Um, so I'll definitely do Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 if people ask to do it, but I don't think it's necessary because a lot of people have played it in the last 6 months, so it's still fresh in their mind, and a lot of people have already beaten that game, so I don't see any point. The very first video I will be doing though is Resident Evil Code Veronica X because I know a lot of people have difficulty with that game and I do understand that it is one of the hardest Resident Evils, if not the hardest, ever released and I know that game really well, like the back of my hand and I'd love to show you guys, so it will definitely be my first video, it will be the HD remake um, on Xbox 360, the one that I own, um, so that is definitely number one on the list. Um, Second priority is Silent Hill. Now I'm definitely doing 1, 2 and 3. At the moment I'm ruling out The Room, Origins, Shattered Memories and Homecoming. Unless you guys really want to see the latter part of those, if you want to see Let's Play for those, I'm really not too interested because again with Resident Evil when it comes to the numbered series the greatness fell short after number 3. And I just want to concentrate on those ones but if, you're, if the demand's there I will definitely do that for you guys. Um, nextly is Haunting Ground, and I've praised this game across the board, and it's one of the finest PS2 games, horror PS2 games, I feel anyway, one of my personal favourites, and a lot of people don't know much about it, and that's unfortunate. Um, next up is Debatable, uh, Dead Space 3. Um, it's quite a long game, it's about 12 hours long, I don't know if I'll do that just yet. I'm looking at doing Dead Space 2, because that was my favourite, but I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Um, next is a definite must, it's going to be number two on the list, is Heavy Rain. And I absolutely live and die by Heavy Rain. I love the game so much. I would give it Game of the Year if I bloody well could, and I would have the music playing at my funeral. That's how much I love the game. And believe me when I say, mark my words, I will do a Let's Play for Heavy Rain. So you can expect that sooner rather than later. Um, next on the list is Shadows of the Damned, and Shadows of the Damned is a really underappreciated, really indie game, and it was really unnoticed by a lot of people, and that is really a shame, because the game is spectacular. It is uh, directed by Shinji Mikami, who created Resident Evil 4, as well as Resident, uh, the Resident Evil series. Um, Akira Yamaoka is the composer in this, the Silent Hill soundtracks. Marvelous! And, um, who's the last guy? Um... Oh, I can't even remember his name. 
on top of my head. Studio 51, there you go, he's the developer of this game. Really indie, graphic, violent games. I think it's great, and it needs to be played. This one, I'm kind of 50-50 on. It's Velvet Assassin. A lot of people have not heard about the game, and that's understandable. It's by no means the greatest game of all time. It's got a lot of flaws with this game, but I really love the time period it's set in. It's set during World War II, during the Nazi invasion. So that premises in which it's set in it really does have a special dark spot in my heart. Like, I mean that to all guys. Um, next is another de uh, debatable one, Tomb Raider 2013. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to do a let's play of Tomb Raider. Uh, it's quite a short game, but I can beat it in under 7 hours, so no problem with time limits there. But mm, I didn't find it interesting to watch when I was trying to watch other gameplays, I thought it was boring. So you guys can hit me up with suggestions on that one. Um, and the game I'm currently playing at the moment, um, Dead Island Riptide. And I just bought it today, and a lot of people told me not to play this until I finished part one. So I made it a priority to play part one before I jumped on Riptide. And I haven't even put it in the tray yet, but I will start it tonight. Um, if you guys want me to see, if you guys want to see a Let's Play of Dead Island Riptide, um, please let me know too, because I don't know, these sort of games go on forever and ever. ever. I clocked up 25 hours on the first Dead Island, just doing side missions, and it's a chore. And I don't think it'll be very entertaining to watch. But if you guys want me to uh, do like some gameplay footage or something like that, please let me know. So that's all I have at the time being. In the time being, if you guys have, guys have any more suggestions, please hit me with those. I'm all ears on this. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like the exciting new change that my channel is going to undertake. And you know, hopefully we can carry on from there and see where it goes. And Finally, I just want to wrap it up with the next bunch of videos that I'm doing. I'm looking at doing three videos this week. I know it's a bit of a stretch. Um, I'm probably going to kick myself in the ass for that. But um, I've got a spotlight video coming up. I'll speak about that last. Um, I also want to talk about Silent Hill 3. So I'll be definitely doing a review for Silent Hill 3 this week. And I want to discuss a couple of trailers as well. And with the spotlight, I'm just going to give you guys like a little teaser so you can guys can try and guess who I'm talking about. It's someone in the Resident Evil universe. This character is extremely mysterious. We know nothing about this character whatsoever. Um, we don't know if they're good or bad, but they help you out. And this person has a fantastic voice. Every time I hear that voice, I'm like, oh, I get the chills listening to it because it's just so fantastic. So I'll let you guys ponder on that for the time being. Um, that's what's up at the moment. So if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever, um, feel free to leave that in the comment section below me right here and I'll update you on more videos. So I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.